<laughs> I'm showing it London Fashion Week. Hello. So I'm sewing the lining to the fashion fabric of the dress. And I'm struggling a little bit. I've done this before. And um, basically this is what the sleeve is going to look like. I have to like, sew it from the inside out. But I really want to understitch the neckline because I love the way an understitched neckline looks. So before I mess up any more, I made like a very rough bodice from fabric that I don't really like. And um, so I'm just going to try to work out how I can do as much stitching on the machine as little hand stitching because it's usually a little bit weaker and um, figure out how to do this whole understitching situation. Struggling a little bit. I don't think there's a way to do what I want to do. So I'm going to try ironing the fabric and see how well it stays without understitching. I'm a little bit stuck. Another option would be to completely hand sew the armhole. I think I'm going to have to hand sew the armhole, which is fine. So I tried, I cut out like a curved piece and I tried sewing it down and it really doesn't look that bad. Ignore the pink stay stitching, but from the outside, it pretty much looks clean. So I think I'm gonna go stick with that, which means I have to unstitch a lot of stuff, which I'm not happy about. I should have figured out what my plan was before I went and stitched a bunch of things down, but that's okay. We live and learn. Hello, so the neckline is done. I have understitched it and I think it's gonna look just really, really nice and crisp. There's just no stitching to be seen whatsoever on the inside. It's like this, so I'm very happy with that. The armholes, what I'm doing is I am sewing the wool down to itself and then I'm going to hand sew the lining shut so that from the outside it's like this and the inside it's like that. Um, it's a bit tricky because it's really curvy, but I've just pinned it the best I can. I'm just gonna press it the best that I can. Um, I just now need to sew the lining down um, and then I need to check if I have a zipper for this if not I'll have to go buy it sometime this week but yeah that's where we're at and I'm very happy about it so the lining around the armhole is completely sewn this is what it looks like from the outside. I think it looks very nice. Um, I don't have an invisible zipper in the right color and length, so I've bought some on Amazon. They're gonna arrive tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna put a pause on this project for now. Um, it is two o'clock and I miss star rings. I'm gonna have some lunch and then take a break and then I'm gonna work on a really pretty dress that I'm hoping is gonna turn out well. We'll see. Right, I'm gonna go live on TikTok and I'm gonna make this dress. I'm not, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, you'll see what it's gonna look like, so catch you guys up later. Um, I was live for like, I don't even know. Um, the top is basically made. It's looking quite nice. The fabric is quite difficult to work with because it's so slippery, so I'm just trying to like go slowly. Um, the waistband wasn't long enough, so I just had to like makeshift a waistband, add it a little bit at the end, that's fine. Both the sleeves are sewn. I just now have to sew them. Um, I know, don't really know how I'm gonna hem them. It's either gonna be elastic or I have to fold my elastic and leave a little bit of space past it so that it's like a little mini ruffle that creates it. I don't really know. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna see it tomorrow. And the skirt is stay stitched as well, so that's sort of ready to put together. Um, honestly, part of me is like, ah, you should work longer. That, that's not enough because then I decided that I wanted to finish making this dress. But that's a lot to do in one day when I've already been working on a million different things. So um, it's 6.15, I'm really hungry. So I'm just gonna go make myself dinner and I'm gonna tidy up and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know if I like this outfit. I really like these trousers. They're like jeans, but I don't really know how to style red trousers. So if you have any recommendations or advice, I'd 
take them happily. If you saw my vlog last week, you know that my serger and my sewing machine both had issues. I thought I had to fix my serger, but I didn't. I basically didn't have what's called a hex driver to loosen and tighten one of the needles. So I bought new needles, I needed new needles, and I bought a new hex driver. It came in yesterday. I think I fixed it. I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna see. But I'm really, really hoping that it's fixed because I wanna finish the seams of this beige flowery dress, brown dress. Um, with my serger. If it does work, it also means I have to change the thread, which I'm not keen to do. I did it! <laughs> Thank god that worked! I've been on the struggle bus with my machine this week, but onwards and upwards. I'm cutting the lining of the waistband because I never cut it out. Um, it's looking really, really cute. I'm very happy with it. So far, the sleeves are just really nice. I've done this style many, many times and I've done it many times because I think it looks just really good on me and just very cute in general. The fabric moves around so, so much, but um, I'm doing a kind of design with a lot of gathering. So all the unevenness sort of gets gathered together. And I don't think it matters too much. I've reached a point, however, where I have to use a serger. I'm just using a serger at the center back. I have to change the thread of my serger and I hate doing that, but we have to do it. So we're gonna do it and get it over with. Hopefully I don't break my machine again. I'm so glad that worked out really well. Here's the thing about circle skirts. I am doing a half circle skirt. Um, but the waist area, since it's cut as a circle, some of the bits are kind the bias, which means it will stretch. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this day stitching and just on the back portion of the skirt, I'm pulling it to create like very slight, like easing slash gathers towards the center back of the skirt. So it won't be noticeable from the front. I'm hoping that from the back it will look like it's on purpose, like it's a bit of gathering. Um, but that's always a really, really easy fix when it comes to circle skirts. Overall, I'm very happy with how it's coming together. The plan is um, I'm going to let the skirt droop for like 24, 48 hours. It's probably going to stretch around the hem, so the length is going to be different at some part. And this might not be that big of a deal on some fabrics, but I think this fabric is going to have a significant difference. Um, if you go on my Instagram, new addresses, and you scroll back to like 2017, you can see my prom dress that I made, and the hem is so uneven because I did a full circle skirt, and I just didn't know that I had to um, re-trim it once it's been cut and hung for like 24 hours. So I'm gonna do that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I am going to sew this, and then I'm going to serge it, and then I think we'll be done for a zipper. I might have lunch first. We'll see, but I'm very happy with how things are going to. Yay! And look, the back, the inside is actually quite nice as well. Like everything is either French seamed or lined or serged. I'm very happy with this so far. I really am. Look how pretty. See how uneven the hem is? I'm gonna let it hang for like a day and then trim it. Also, it's the same length. I'm so in love. Oh, I feel like a princess. Also, my sister is pregnant and I really wanna make her maternity dress for Christmas. Now, to make the maternity dress fit for as long as possible, I really want to make it a stretchy dress. 
and I have this gorgeous green like velvet but it stretches a lot which is really really good it's so Christmassy I really think she'll love it and I think if it's stretchy hopefully it'll be the kind of dress that she can wear like while she's pregnant and while she's not pregnant I want to use the same Bridgerton top pattern because um it like fits right underneath the chest which means anything below that is free to fall which means her bump can be as big as she wants and it won't cause an issue However, I've never made a Bridgerton top from a stretchy fabric. So I think I'm going to do is I'm going to practice with the same fabric, but in a different color. I don't have much of it left, so I didn't really know what to do with it, but I think this would be perfect. I'm going to make a top out of it for myself. I don't know when I'll do it because I'm literally leaving the week. I'm so excited. I think she'd love it. Great news. So I'm meant to hear back tomorrow for London Fashion Week. I'm really, really nervous that I'm not going to get it. I really just got it like really excited in my heart, in my brain. And um, yeah, showing a London Fashion Week, which will be a dream. Like, reaching out and putting myself out there and putting myself in a position of potential rejection is always really, really scary and really difficult. But I would much rather get rejected and be sad about that than be sad for not applying. I remember regretting not trying to show my pieces at London Fashion Week in September um, because I was like, why? I'm being scared and I'm scared of getting rejected. I'm scared of feeling like I'm not good enough, which is just a reflection of how I feel about myself. I'm just really proud that I'm putting myself out there and whether it accepts me or it doesn't, I tried and that's all that really matters. So I just went live on TikTok and loads of people came. <laughs> Um, and I only really had like 20 minutes of work to do, so I did that. And then people were still there and I was still chatting and I was in a chatting mood. So I ended up cutting and basically making a top. <laughs> the Bridgerton dress that I want to make for my pregnant lady sister. Um, I'm testing out, as I said earlier, this fabric and I'm just going to try it on and see. And then this is the band that's going to go underneath. I don't know if I like how long it is. I've made a top similar to this in terms of proportions and I hated it before, so we're gonna test it out. These are the sleeves. I wanted to make them longer but didn't have enough fabric, but I think it's quite cute. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. And the dress is done. I just need to hem it, but that's gonna be done in a couple of days. This is what she looks like. I think she's so pretty. You know who would wear this? Kate Middleton. That's who. I'm super, super happy with it. I think it's really, really cute. The zippers came quite late, so I'm not gonna finish that dress, um, but I'll do it tomorrow morning and that's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna film a few things for my TikTok vlog, but super happy with myself. This is what it's gonna look like. That's gonna be tied down to this piece. I'm definitely gonna make it shorter and also tighten a little bit more in the back. And then we're gonna add the sleeve. I think it'll be an interesting top. I'm excited to see how it's gonna to come together. I am wolfing down some food because I'm going to go see the witness of the prosecution by Agatha Christie. I love Agatha Christie. So I bought a bunch of really cheap tickets to see musicals and plays during Black Friday. So this is my last one. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good morning. I've been thinking about implementing the four day work week schedule for myself for a while, just because usually by the end of the week, I am so exhausted that I can't really do as much work. So I'm trying to condense my work into a shorter amount of time so that I'm really productive and my time is spent efficiently during those hours and I get an extra day of work, sort of chill time. I'm really sleepy this morning, so I think I'm just gonna take the morning off and I'll take like another chunk of a day off later in the week. I'm just gonna sit and edit some stuff like my YouTube videos, my vlogs, TikToks and things like that. But I'm gonna stay in my PJs, have a peanut butter toast with me and oranges because I'm currently in love with oranges. And um, I'm just not gonna put any pressure on myself to get to work until like sort of lunchtime. So that's the plan. I'll see you guys then. Besties! I haven't gotten to work yet. It's like 12. I'm still in my resting period, but I'm showing at London Fashion Week. I'm showing at London Fashion Week in February. I'm so, so excited. And I'm just, ah, I'm so happy, especially because I'm working with a company that shows pieces from like smaller designers and they have a really, really big focus on inclusivity and like body positivity and ethical clothing and things like that. And that's just what I want my brand to represent. And that's what the kind of people that I want to represent my brand. And I think my friend Lucy is gonna um, model for it. And I'm just so excited and I'm so proud of myself for putting myself out there. And I was so nervous this morning, but um, it's all coming together. I'm officially showing at four different fashion shows in February and March, which is insane. And I need to make sure that everything is like, organized properly but um yeah I'm so excited
Hi besties, I went to the supermarket. I like to go to one that's a little bit more far away. I've got loads of little shops nearby, but when I kind of want to walk, I go to one that's like half an hour away. So I walk for like an hour, it's lovely. I'm really craving risotto, so I'm gonna make a vegan vegetable risotto and I'm very excited about it. My half day off has turned into a very healthy full day off. I'm just a bit tired today. It's just all been exhausting and I'm not working towards a specific deadline. That's like two last minute at the moment. So I'll finish my calendar tomorrow. I'll finish the long, really pretty beige dress for the fabric company tomorrow as well. Um, and tonight I'm just gonna rest. I'll probably go to the bath. just quite spontaneously really um listed a bunch of masks on etsy um because i made a bunch of these christmas masks so here they are and i've got ones with penguins that are skiing and some holly i think they're so cute and they're scraps for my christmas bunting but they're 100 percent cotton so i thought it would be a bit of a shame if i um didn't use some of the scraps to make something out of it and i'm trying to make a little bit of cash because i'm going to be spending a lot on train tickets and buying materials for my next collections and things like that and because i'll be spending a lot of time traveling going to fashion shows showing at fashion shows i'll be taking less clients than i thought i was going to like early next year so i'm just trying to get a little bit of cash into my business things like bucket hats and things like that will become a bit more common um putting things on etsy is relatively easy so i'm really hoping that goes well um obviously if i could sell out that would be really great but if not i'll just give like the rest of my friends and family and things like that i was a little bit scared about selling things online for like the first time so i thought that doing something quite simple not too complicated to do i thought that could sort of help me ease into using etsy and selling things and yeah it's also the kind of thing that takes a lot of like nervous emotional energy to do which is why i'm really glad that i rested today because i think tomorrow amidst the chaos of doing different things i wouldn't have been able to sit down and like, commit to doing it so i'm very happy about that um and i'm gonna try not to refresh my emails every three seconds <laughs>